Welcome to the Web Weekly Newsletter. My name is Dan Wallin, and I'm excited to bring you this first edition that highlights great videos, content, code, articles, blogs, and more that I find out there on the web and bring it directly to your inbox. Now, in the video portion of this newsletter, we'll be discussing some of the highlights that are in it and some of the things that I found really interesting or super cool. Now, for the newsletter itself, you'll have access to the Flipboard magazines if you're interested in those. And you'll also have access to a wealth of information on JavaScript, HTML5, Angular, and other SPA technologies, CSS, and more. You can get directly to these links and get all the great articles that maybe you don't have time to look into every day because, well, you're probably busy. So let's go ahead and get started and jump right into our first topic I'm going to highlight. So one of my favorite videos is in this issue, and it's by Adi Asmani, who, if you don't know who he is, eh, you need to read a little more and get out of your cave. He's awesome. He does a lot with Google, JavaScript, and all kinds of things. Well, he recently gave a talk titled Plight of the Butterfly, Everything You Wanted to Know About Object.Observe. Now, if you're not familiar with Object.Observe, definitely go and watch his video. Not only is the presentation just awesome, but he goes into some great things that truly are going to revolutionize how we know when properties and other objects have changed in our JavaScript applications. Very, very good talk. Highly recommend it. Now, if you're into AngularJS and you really want to get deep into it, check out this article by Burleson Thomas. Very, very good post called Enhancing AngularJS Logging Using Decorators. Now, if you've ever wanted to go in and tweak some of the core functionality, maybe there's a service out there that you're using, but you want to enhance it a little bit. Well, he talks about how to do that, and specifically, he focuses on the log service. And what he goes into is how we can use this provide decorator. It's a really good read, especially if you're already comfortable with Angular, some of the services and factories out there. And he'll walk you through step by step how it works and how you can use it to enhance things to make your app that much more maintainable and reusable. Now, it goes without saying that single page applications or SPAs are very popular these days. I don't think I need to tell you that, but whether you're using Backbone or Ember, Durandal, Angular, have you ever looked into the search engine optimization characteristics of SPAs? Well, if you have, you'll know that eh, it's a little bit lacking there. Well, there's a really, really cool website out there called prerender.io. And what it will do is provide the tools you need to make your SPA crawlable so that search engines can easily figure out what's in them. And that way, you'll actually pop up when somebody does a search. Now, you'll need uh, Node.js for this. And it will provide a way, though, to easily take any SPA out there and make it so that Google, Bing, and the other search engines will pick up on your keywords. So definitely check it out. Very interesting. Now, if you work in the world of web development, you more than likely are really comfortable in certain areas. And there's these other areas over here that sort of live in the dark, and you just don't touch them. You're kind of scared of those. Well, if CSS positioning is one of those, then I would highly recommend to check out Stephen Bradley's article on how well do you understand CSS positioning. Uh, this is an excellent article that goes into absolute, fixed, relative, z-index, and he actually explains it in a way that's very easy to comprehend. And so I highly recommend it if you want to get a little bit better at the differences between those and how they work in your applications. Now, the final item in the newsletter I want to highlight is by Chris Coyer. And he provides an excellent code pin demonstration where you can actually go in and not only see the code, but watch how you can make a triangle with pure CSS. And it's actually really interesting. So let me go ahead and start it here. And as it plays, what he'll do is he'll break down a box into the individual pieces. You'll see he kind of adds the margins and things like that with or borders. And then he'll kind of collapse it. And you'll see it collapse on itself. And then from here, we can start to hide the uh, outer edges we don't want. And voila, we have a triangle. Uh, very clever. And uh, kudos to Chris for how he gave the presentation, because by visually seeing it, it's a heck of a lot easier than just reading through the code. Well, thanks for tuning into this edition of the Web Weekly. And I hope you found some things of interest, whether it's in the video or in the newsletter itself. If you want to keep in touch, I'm on Twitter at Dan Wallin. And before we go, I definitely want to thank our sponsor, Interface Technical Training, for allowing me to use this excellent studio here and the excellent crew, I might add. You can't see them, but they're here. 
And uh, if you're interested in training on various topics, whether it's here in Phoenix, Arizona, yeah. or you just want to do it anywhere in the world online, we offer a very cool remote live technology where you can actually see the instructor, see multiple boards, do the labs remotely, one big nice package. So check that out at interfacett.com and thanks again for tuning in.